Hi, now uh, we're going to discuss about medical engineering. Uh, what's biomedical engineering by examples, especially for bioinstrumentation. So bioinstrumentation is a using electronic instruments to measure the health status or biological signals to control or intervene any risks. There are three uh, examples I put here. The first is electrocardiogram or ECG. ECG measures the electrical activity of the heart uh, through electrodes attached at defined locations on the body surface. So we have to understand the heart as three-dimensional organ, rhythmic, usually repetitive, and this heart requires these heart, heart muscle or cardiac myocytes to be excited and they contract rhythmically and coordinated fashion. And this creates a three-dimensional electrical vector which will change in 3D over time and keep repeated fashion. So we can measure this electrical activity from the heart by putting electrode outside of the body surface. And there are patients who have a problem with this heartbeat. And those patients may have irregular heartbeat, which may cause uh, increase of risk. And we can have an intervention to externally sending signal to the heart to contract at a regular fashion. And that is called pacemaking. So here is called cardiac pace maker, or we call it artificial uh, pacemaker. This is a medical device to regulate the beating of the heart. Of course, heart rate is, can be regulated by using sending electrical impulses, which is delivered directly through electrodes inside heart muscle. And another example is called cortical stimulator. And this cortex means, in fact, the outer layer of the brain, so cerebral cortex. So this medical device is to revive neural activity in the nervous system of patients by delivering electrical shock to induce brain activity. So let's take a look for this cardiac uh, pacemaker, which is about this, this small size. It's not very big. And this contains a big uh, place is a battery, which sends out electrical impulse through this electrode. And if you look at this, a little bit tiny, but at the tip of the electrode, it is uh, a wire which is whirling and neither, so that you actually uh, insert into the heart by rotating and then fix it. So this pacemaker lead goes through the wall of the vein, which is connected directly to the heart. From your heart anatomy knowledge, uh, these veins goes to right atrium, and its right atrium is connected to right ventricle, so it goes to tip of the right ventricle. So more specifically, you can see, so this generator is placed uh, surgically inside the body and it goes to subclavian vein, which is connected to right atrium. And you can have right atrial lead or coronary sinus lead or right ventricle lead. And this right ventricle lead is almost all device has this lead. And the cortical stimulator, which specifically plays in the brain cortex. So cortical stimulator lead looks like this. And, and that also is connected to the body uh, called implantable pulse generator. 